They are packed in a leather pouch, they are made of brass, and they are shaped like tiny table tennis bats with holes in the centre. What are they? Well, these little brass plates were used by photographers in the early part of this century, and they're called Waterhouse Stops. They were used with lenses of this type. You'll notice that it has a slot in the side, and when it's wide open, it allows light to get through into the camera body, but if you want to stop some of that light getting through, you can select one of these little brass plates and push it in the slot at the side, and it cuts down the amount of light getting through. On a very bright day, you might choose the smallest hole of all so that it stops most of the light from getting through. That's a method of controlling light getting into a camera, and cameras still need that today. But it didn't take camera manufacturers long to notice that the human eye has a very effective mechanism for controlling light. It's called the iris, the coloured part of the eye, and when we open our eye in bright light, it closes down. And the other way round, in dull light, it opens up. Well, many cameras today have a system which is copied from the human eye. It's called an iris diaphragm, and if you look inside a lens of a camera that has one, you'll notice that it has a series of little metal plates that open and close that hole and control the light getting into the camera very effectively. So many cameras today have that system. Not many of them that are used today have the Waterhouse stop system, but in the early days of this century, photographers would never go anywhere without their little leather pouch of stops.